Since the introduction of the 1.4 Journey's End update to Terraria, much of the game saw a drastic overhaul. One such example is the Martian Madness event. While it's an already challenging event was made even harder by changes to the saucer's attacks, which, according to the developer's official patch notes for the game's 1.4 update, can now shoot their death beam through blocks. This made the old tried-and-true approach of hiding underground far less viable. Being forced out of cover can make the game far more frustrating, and the event might even feel like a chore. However, it doesn't have to be this way. With proper preparation and a good understanding of how to approach the fight, you can make this event a breeze. The first step is preparation. There is much to be done to make your character as prepared as possible for the fight ahead. Firstly, you must pick a class. This will determine what armor, weapons, and accessories you use in the fight. Because this fight requires high mobility and a decent amount of defense, I would recommend specking into a ranged class for this fight. This will allow you to keep your distance while still dishing out enough damage to finish the fight quickly. I recommend using the Shroomite set, a blend of mobility and damage boosting accessories, at least one dash accessory, and a high rate of fire weapon. The most important part, however, is your choice of ammunition. Because different bullets have different effects, there should be thought put into which ones to choose and what situations to use them in. I recommend the nano bullets for general crowd control and the chlorophyte bullets for taking on the saucer. I chose this combination because both have some sort of homing capability, making your weapons far more effective. Chlorophyte's homing is by a very large margin the best. However, this excellence comes as a consequence of its steep cost to produce. As a result, nano bullets act as a cheap alternative for less important enemies. When using this setup, it is very important that you get comfortable with switching ammo on the fly and avoid wasting the more expensive ammo unnecessarily. The final step is to make an arena out of platforms. This will further help you with mobility, especially if you have not yet acquired a mount. You are finally ready for step 2, the fight. To trigger the event, you must wait for a Martian probe to appear near the space level on the outer two-thirds of the map. Once it detects you and turns red, the event will start. Begin by using the nano bullets to take out the lower level enemies. As you do, the event progress bar will fill. During this period, it is important to avoid being too close to the ground, as it is easy to get quickly overwhelmed by the number of projectiles being thrown at you. Staying up high allows you to not have to worry as much about them, as well as making them easier to dodge. Once the progress bar reaches around 40%, saucers will start to appear. Most importantly, however, you must never stand still. This drastically increases your odds of taking damage from stray projectiles. Now it is time to switch ammo and take on the saucer. According to the official Terraria wiki, in its first phase the saucer will cycle through four attacks. First, it will lock onto your location and fire a volley of lasers. This is best avoided by flying above them right as it starts shooting. Second, it will release a large number of homing missiles towards the player, and these can be easily dealt with by flying in a semicircle overhead of the saucer. Alternatively, instead of sending out homing rockets, it will start throwing out explosives in its general area. The final attack in its cycle is the death ray, which shoots downward. In the saucer's first phase, it is slow, and as long as you have kept your distance, it should not be a threat. Keep dealing damage until all cannons are knocked off, at which point it will pause, shake, and enter its second phase. Phase 2 attack pattern is where you may have the most trouble at first. However, once you know how it attacks, you'll have no problem dealing with it. The saucer will now move much faster and try to take you out by flying above you and repeatedly firing its beam downward. To deal with this, you will use your dash ability. You can't get above the beam like you did before, but as long as you time your movements well, you can still avoid it. The goal is to dash back and forth in a zigzag pattern as you slow fall or on platforms. The saucer will fly over you and try to reposition above you. Once it does this, and right before it attacks, you want to dash in the direction that it came from. It may take a few tries to nail the trick. However, once you get it down, the fight will become trivial. Repeat these steps on every saucer that appears, and you will have completed the event in no time, and earned yourself a lot of valuable item drops along the way.